Hello and welcome to my channel. This is a coloring book review for Color Me Circus by this illustrator right here. And I will have that down below in the information there in the description. And that is Color Me Circus. I got this book because of the neat cover on it. Um, I'm hoping, I've not looked at it yet, but I'm hoping that it is uh, decent quality pages and the rest of the illustrations are like the front illustration. I've gotten some books that it, there's a great picture on the front and once you get inside, it's like, what happened to all the great pictures? They're not there. So I'm hoping this book is not like that. Um, the dimensions of this book are eight by eight square there there square <laughs> um, this is the front here is the back I got this from Amazon and I believe it was around seven fifty nine dollars somewhere in there this is not a thick book at all it's a fairly thin book in fact, compared to the standard size of Dover coloring books, which is um, this one, which I will have another video for here in a little bit. Um, it's a little bit thicker than the Dover coloring books, but not by a whole lot. So it, it's a fairly thin book. Let's see if I can get both sides of the paper on this. Um, it is glue bound. Glue bound books are always a bit more difficult to open the spine, I think. I could not find any reviews, any pictures of this book online, which was very frustrating um, to me. So I wanted to get this book, not only because the front picture was very alluring, um, but I wanted to do a review for this so that other people would know what's in the book. So far, I really like it. There's a lot of uh, unique pictures in here, a lot of different pictures. I do notice that, that when it's a double page spread, they do not line up. If you can see that. Um, it, it's just not lined up correctly. And that could be partly because the picture is in the fold. And I think if I could open this bit better, um, it would line up a little better. But with glue bound books, that's nearly impossible to open up all the way. The paper quality in this book, think about a young child's coloring book. And that paper, it's it's almost got a tacky uh, feel to it. It's It's got some texture on it, but it is very thin paper. Um, in fact, as I turn the page, I don't know if the camera can pick this up or not, um, but I can see the other page behind here through this page, and it that's very thin paper. So um, it is very, very thin paper. I would not use anything but colored pencil in this book. And definitely have a blotter page behind. So the pictures are not disappointing to me. Um, get that to focus. There we go. Um, pictures are not disappointing. It seems uh, fairly circusy and uh, pretty closely related to the front illustration. There's the front one. So far, this is my favorite picture in the book. And sometimes I wish they wouldn't use the best picture in the whole book on the front cover, because I feel like it kind of lets people down. Once they get the book, and they're kind of like, hey, where's all the good pictures at? I mean, so far, to me, these are decent pictures. They're not fantastic pictures, but um, I would buy this book again had I seen a review beforehand for the pictures that I'm seeing right now. It's not an expensive book, so it, it was definitely worth the money. I'm not a fan of pattern 
pictures. I, I would rather see original line work art. Um, but she seems to have some patterns in here with original line work art, which is great. I love it. And it definitely sticks with the circus theme. And we've got some single-sided pictures back here. And the back says, dedicated to the talent circus artists and creators that allow us to enter their world and share their dream. And that's a nice little dedication there. And they do have a test page here in the back. And uh, for those of you who don't do this, um, the last page in the book, sometimes um, if they've got a quote on it or just, you know, little words or, and stuff, um, when they have an illustration, it's sometimes good to do your test page on the inked part of the paper to see how the ink works with your medium. So this paper is way too thin to use. I wouldn't even use gel pens on here um, or ink pens. Um, I would stick with colored pencils. Um, and, and the paper quality is like that of a small child's coloring book. Um, it, it's not white paper. It's kind of a cream paper, but the texture reminds me of uh, a young child's coloring book as well. Not necessarily an adult coloring book that have uh, better paper quality. So um, that's my review. Thank you very much for watching. Um, again, this is Color Me Circus by... There is the illustrator, and I will have this information down below in the description as well. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below if you like the book. If you don't like the book, tell me what you're thinking, and thank you for watching. Happy coloring.